happy morning boys once again i am with you in this video also i am going to discuss a board model question which had appeared a few years ago okay students the question is the atomic number of an element a is 90 the right is in a chemical configuration to which period of the model periodic table does it belong and what is its valency if the element a burns in oxygen to form oxide what will be its nature lastly write balanced chemical equation for the reaction when its oxide is dissolved in water so you have to give the balanced chemical equation also you have to see what is the nature of the oxide that is getting formed when this element burns in air but first of all we have to undergo the electrolytic the electronic configuration of the given element find its period then find its valency let us have the solution atomic number of an element is 90 so first of all number a that is the solution what will be its electronic configuration electronic configuration we know k l m n these are the cells in the first cell two electron in the second cell also eight electron in the third cell also eight electron now what is remaining behind it was 90 atomic number 2 8 10 and 8 18 remaining behind is only one electron this is the electronic configuration for the atomic number 90 so electronic configuration is k l m 2 8 1 secondly number b to which period of the model unit table does it belong to which period now i'm saying to us the number of cells gives me the idea of the number of period to which period the element belongs is governed by the number of cells it has in its electronic configuration so here we see that there are four cells there are four cells so the number of period will be the number of period will be fourth period so what will be the period period is four since the number of cells number of cells covers the period number number of cells covers the period number it was what is its valency now if you see towards ki here is only one electron in the outermost cell that means it is a metal and in case of the valency of the metal the number of valence electron is equal to its valency that means the maximum number of electron it can liberate in order to form a inert gas configuration near the inert gas configuration it has the ability to lose one electron as it is losing one electron means it has a valency of one so in the third in the second point we can write what is the valency valency is one why valency one because it has a tendency to lose only one electron in order to form its in nearest inert gas configuration now students now comes if the element a burns in oxygen to form oxide what will be its nature we know it has the element as the atom has only one electron in the cell that means it is a metal when metal combines with the oxygen it will form its metallic oxide and all metallic oxide are basic in nature so you have to find out whether the given element is metal or whether the given element is non metal from the given electronic configuration we know metals have one two and three electrons in the outermost cell the 
the upper cell, metals have one, two, or three electrons in the upper cell. This element A is also having one electron in the upper cell, so it can be considered as a metal. Now, number seven, number C, as metal A is as element A is metal. It burns in air to form its oxide and and the nature of the oxide oxide will be basic. What will be the nature? Basic nature. Why basic nature? Because it's a metal. When it combines with oxygen, it forms metallic oxide and metallic oxides are always basic in nature. Okay students, now we are coming on to the last point that is the balanced chemical equation for the reaction when its oxide is dissolved in water. Now, let us see the fourth point that is number D. What will be the formula? First of all, I want to have a formula. Group 1. It is belonging to group 1. Why? Because it has 1 in the formula of our cell. Next, it will have a valency of 1. We have seen the valency is 1. It is reacting with oxygen. So, the formula for this oxide will be A2O. A2O is the formula for its oxide. Now, it is reacting with water. See students, it is reacting with water. Now, A, two atoms, hydrogen, two atoms, oxygen, two atoms. As it is going to be dissolved in water, as this oxide A2O will dissolve in water, it will form its respective hydroxide. What it is going to form? It is going to form its respective hydroxide. That is AOH and having two in the front. Because we have to balance the chemical equation. Now, two atoms of A, we are also two atoms of A, two atoms of oxygen, on the right hand side also two atoms of oxygen. On the left hand side, we are having hydrogen, two atoms, hydrogen here is also two atoms. So, when A2O, that is the metallic oxide, reacts with water or is dissolved in water, it is going to form its respective hydroxide. Hope, oh, students, you have. Understood the thing well. Thank you.